Okay, thank you. Um, great to take the philosophical angle of uh, this conference to you. Some people are leaving the room because they want to be the first at lunch. I have a recommendation to stay here because I'll give you the questions we'll be discussing at lunch. Um, so ethical beliefs of machines. I do believe we should be discussing ethics and I believe we should do so because otherwise we just had the topic regulators will do it for us, which may actually slow down technological progress. But there's a reason to discuss it. Um, Quickly about me, um, am I a philosopher? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm half engineer and all through my life I've been working with chatbots. I was uh, raised in the 80s, <clears throat> tried to program my first chatbot on my Atari 1004 DSD. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Then I studied at university and took courses in genetic algorithms, tried to program my first chatbot. It didn't work out. And now I'm at Deloitte and working with my colleagues uh, to find jobs for them once those bots have taken over. So all those tax advisors, auditors we have, lawyers we have, they may all be replaced by bots. Um, we're discussing what other jobs they could, uh, could take. Another angle at myself is Amazon taking at me. This is how Amazon sees me. You can see my interest right here live on stage. Which brings me to the first point why we should discuss ethics. Um, now, if I would only be on Amazon buying my books and only follow Amazon's recommendations to my books, is it really ethical towards all those independent authors out there that they are not recommended to me anymore? So is there a chance for an independent author to be read by me if I only follow Amazon? Is it right? that we have those recommendation engines. And we think, yeah, we should have them, but there should be some ethics to them. Now, how do I teach that engine what independent author to provide to me? Um, that ethic topic, and sorry, some of the pictures are in German, that ethic topic is actually getting quite hot now. And um, if you just punch in and Google ethic and digitization, you'll find thousands of hits because thousands of organizations are rising right now to discuss ethics in digitization, ethics with machines. And in Germany, just recently, just last week, um, a commission which is sitting in the Ministry for Traffic uh, in Germany came up with their first 20 rules towards autonomous driving. And as soon as you hear rules, you know the regulator may want to follow rules and regulate. And um, there we are. And there's now this commission thinking about the ethics of those autonomous cars. And it's about a few topics, but mainly when we discuss it, it's about this topic, which personally drives me crazy because it limits that ethic discussion to a highly unlikely situation. Most of you have seen that the question, should the car kill those innocent people on the left, the nurses, or the bank robbers on the right. You can also have the same picture with kids and elderly people. It's always the same question. Your autonomous car has gone wild. It cannot be stopped anymore. They, it has to kill someone, left or right. Like I said, highly unlikely. And I especially don't like this question because we already know that. It's not new in autonomous driving. This trolley problem here has been around as long as we have trolleys, uh, wild going trains going down the tracks and somebody puts four people to the tracks and some other put another person to another track. Now you have to decide who do I kill? The four, oh, actually it's five, I see. Five on the left, uh, the one on the right. It's exactly the same ethical question and the answer has already been given. We are not allowed to make that decision by taking five or one. Um, it has already been discussed. Um, Actually, we also, I mean, in the non-digital world, we're taking the decision, or at least some of us are taking the decision in their daily jobs, that the so-called triage, when a big disaster happens and there is not enough doctors and medical personnel, they will evaluate really quickly how all those victims of that catastrophe are in shape. And they have to take that discussion, green, yellow, red, and black. Black means no treatment anymore. And there's a clear rule to that, and you can see it up on the left, there's a tree. So, I mean, that has been defined, so you can teach it to the machine. Again, that's not a new ethical question that has just risen because of uh, machine learning and so on. Basically, all the answers in ethics have, in general, been given by the Greek philosophers. So, 2,000 years already, we found the answers, which are basically 
clear. So we don't need to rediscuss the general ethical questions. And if you look at the constitutions of most of the countries, it is in the constitution, this now declaration of independence saying all men or women are created equal and they have the rights and the right is to live a life of liberty and happiness. Now, if we just take that constitutional right to be happy, um, let's take that autonomous car driving question just the other way around. Um, if we think who it could happen that somebody is, or the car is killing somebody, shouldn't we come up with a rule as long as uh, there is autonomous car, you have to have the steering wheel in your hand and have control of this traffic, then you will not make that person happy. And see so that's from Google and they have that autonomous driving car and there's a blind person in there which has received now mobility through an autonomous driving car just because there's autonomous driving cars. If our regulators decide due to ethical reasons we cannot make this happen, the other ethical question, is it right to let that person not drive? Um, staying with the cars, um, some of you know that from your own car, when you get tired, your car starts noticing you get tired and gives you a recommendation to maybe uh, take a break. And I usually get mad when my car tells me to take a break because usually I'm in a big hurry and I'm really tired and want to get home. This same technology can be applied if you put a person into the car highly drunk. Now, if I would just take a poll here, if we put a highly drunk person into a car, would you find it ethically right that the car does not start, it actually blocks driving? And I would say, yeah, that's right, we shouldn't be doing that. And then I'll put your father in the car, your mother, at the age of 70, 75, who is usually in quite good shape, but at that day, a little a lot of sun, not enough water drinking, and the car detects the shape of the driver is like a drunk person. Is it ethically okay that the car doesn't start driving? And suddenly we think, hmm, oh, not for my father, but it's not, not okay. So um, there's lots of gray scale actually in those, what we discussed, unfortunately, in a very black and white thing. There's a lot of gray scale with regard to ethics. And because the next ethical question is, um, in general, this is all the cause of mortality, is it ethical to not advance technology to reduce some of mortality which is up there? For example, car driving on the right, but there's also other causes of death up on that chart that we could reduce if machines get smarter. What is not in the chart is being killed by machines, which we tend to not like. That's why this car problem uh, is so much discussed, because we don't want to be killed by a car, I don't want to be killed by a machine. Um, but this one is highly unlikely. However, robots are do killing something, our jobs. And now, again, next ethical question is, is it okay to have machines kill our jobs? There's numerous charts in the internet. This one I like because it looks at what the field of study. And when I talk to our own colleagues, um, there's lots of accountants and finance and economic uh, majors in our firm say, look at that, your job will be go gone soon. Now again, ethical question, is that okay that we let those jobs be re replaced? And may the regulators say, no, that's not okay, let's put an AI tax out there, so we'll keep that down, because ethically, we should not let that happen, and the tax will help us to execute ethics. But then, we have this job, um, this is a nurse on the left, and you can see that nice robot is helping the nurse to lift the patient. I would say the life of that nurse has immediately become better because she doesn't have to lift a heavy anymore. Now, is it ethical to not allow this and force the nurse to hurt her back by lifting people? And then people say, well, okay, let's, let's keep it with that. That work is okay. And, but um, we should not have the situation that a robot is alone with the person taking care of the patient. And then we take this picture, that's a robot, um, talking to a lady who is suffering of Alzheimer's disease. And the lady really thinks there is a person talking to her. Now, this sounds awkward. We pretend to the elderly person that the robot is talking to her. On the other hand, we sit here in this room and say the robot shouldn't be talking to my grandma. At the same time, we're not talking to our grandmas because we're all so busy that grandma will be sitting alone. So why shouldn't we not have a chatbot talking to elderly people suffering of Alzheimer's? 
And we say, oh, yeah, maybe we should do that. And then we get another chatbot, which I like very much because I have four daughters. That's Barbie. And Barbie also has a bot inside her. You can discuss with Barbie, for example, what you'd like to be as a job later on. And Barbie will recommend you to become Marie Curie or Albert Einstein. You can see the movie in the web. It's really nice. And then I ask myself, do I really want as a father that somebody is talking to my kids like that and giving recommendations? And actually, who comes up with that recommendations? Maybe in the US, it may be different than in Israel, than in Thailand, than in China, than in Germany. And with that, I think the only solution we have is we got to get better in school, teach our kids now, not only computer science and technology, but actually teach them about ethics and humanity, and then they will do the right decisions. Thank you.